Good morning, grade 11 students. I'm your math teacher, Wissam Sharafi. Hope all are okay. Today, our lesson is about complex numbers. Today, we are going to find roots and find the square roots of certain equations and complex numbers. Second degree equation and C. Square root of Z equal minus 3 minus. For example, I have a complex number. I'd like to find its square root. The square root of z is small z, which is a complex number of the algebraic form a plus ib, where a and b belongs to r. So, being the square root of big z, it means big z equals z to power 2. You expand z to power 2, it is a squared minus b squared, because i squared is minus 1, plus 2aib equals big z, which is minus 3 minus 4i a squared minus b squared equals minus 3, and 2aib equals minus 4i, which means ab equals minus 2. By substitution, a equals minus 2 over b. You substitute in the first equation. You end up with this equation. Either you say let x squared equals a to power 4, and you solve, or you factorize trial and error. You end up with a to power 2 equals 1 acceptable result, or a to power 2 equals minus 4, rejected in R. a equals plus or minus 1. For a equals 1, b is minus 2. For a equals minus 1, b is 2. So these complex numbers are the square root of big Z, which is minus 3 minus 4i. Now we'd like to solve a quadratic trinomial, 2x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0. We used to find delta. If delta is negative, we say no roots in R. But today, we know that minus 1 is I squared. You substitute. You end up with delta equals 28 I squared. X1, which, a which is a complex root, will be minus B minus radical delta over 2A. It is 2 minus radical 28 I squared over 4. If you simplify, it will be half plus minus radical 7 over 2i of the algebraic form of a complex number. x2 will be half plus radical 7 over 2i. Geometric representation of a complex number. Before we said that, or we talked about the algebraic form, which is a plus ib, where a and b are 